Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me already, I'm Debbie. I've got three kids. I've got Stevie, Quint and Jackson. And we've got baby number four due in February 2018. I just received my Scottish Government baby box today. So I thought I would show you what is in my box. So I received my box this morning. I got a big, huge box and this was obviously inside it. And I was thinking to myself, what is that? I've not ordered anything. And then I remembered that I signed up to get the Scottish Baby Box. So if you don't know what the Scottish Baby Box is, it is a baby box that the Scottish Government are giving out to, pa to parents-to-be. And you get loads of different stuff inside the box. So I'm going to show you what is in it. So the baby can also sleep in this box as well. But I will show you once I get to the bottom of the box, um, the mattress and stuff. I'll show you as best as I can what is in the box. I'm kind of in an awkward kind of position at the minute. So the first thing that I've got here is a duck sponge. And there is some baby nail files. I have checked some of this stuff out of the packaging already just to have a look. So next I have got a, it's like a little travel changing mat and it has got little baby feet on it and it just rolls up and you can tie it up which is really handy because then you can keep it in your baby's changing bag. There was also this little blankie and there is two box of condoms. Also, they're trying to tell you that you're having no more kids. There is a teething ring. And there's a little black and white baby book. This is a play mat. I haven't opened it up out of the bag yet, so I'm not actually sure what it really looks like, but I will take it out at the end of the video and show you. There is a bath and room thermometer, which is really handy to have so that you know how hot to like keep the room and stuff for your baby especially. And there is maternity pads, nursing pads. There is also an ear thermometer, which is so handy with any kid of any age because we have had ones from like of us done stuff and they're ones that you just kind of put in the mouth and that and they're just they're pretty crap but this should be really good um, to have and then there's some items of clothing so there's different sizes and they've kept it obviously really neutral because they don't know if you're having a girl or a boy um, there's long sleeved vests there's a plain teal bodysuit so obviously you could use any of these items on a boy or a girl this is really cute, this fleecy jacket. It's grey, obviously it can be for a boy or a girl, and this is three to six months. And then there's another suit thing as well. Thought it was really cute. And there's like a pair of grey leggings. Another vest. I think this is obviously newborn, it's look quite small. There's also socks, there's not to three ones there. This, I presume, is newborn because it's quite small. I haven't really looked at the labels. And again, another long sleeved one. Then we have got like a lemon coloured sleep suit. I think these are maybe six to nine months because they look quite big. There is also newborn mittens and a newborn hat. And then there is another long sleeved vest as well. And these vests also have the built-in mitts, which is also handy. And there was some muslin cloths. There was a pack of three, so they're neutral as well. And then there's this cute leggings. And here's another pair of socks. These are three to six months. And then there's like a dribble bib. So I quite like this kind of colour, it's really nice. There is a, like, a baby book. And I was quite impressed that this was in the box. 
this is like a stretchy sling and obviously I'm not going to open it out it is just basically how it looks um, I had a black one of these with Jackson and I literally wore him all the time when he was born um, in this stretchy sling and then I got like a bigger sling for when he was bigger and they were the most handiest things ever so <clears throat> nearing to the bottom there is also like a towel as well just a basic white towel and there's also a white blanket similar to what you get in hospitals and um, when your baby is in hospital and now that I've reached the bottom of the box this box can actually be used as a bed for the baby and there's a mattress here it's a microfiber foam mattress and um, obviously there's safety on the box about how to use use this and not to use it obviously you're not going to put the lid on when your baby's in it and you're not going to put it up on high surfaces but I thought this would be really handy for if the baby was to go over to Josh's mum's and you know um, it saves like a travel cot and having to tromp over the Moses basket and stuff so this would be really handy for that and then obviously you can use the box once you're finished with this for like storage for toys and stuff afterwards but I think it's a really good idea that you can use this as a bed and the box is obviously pretty plain I'm sure if you've got older kids they could colour it in for you if you really wanted it to be coloured in um, but obviously it's nice how it is and then you also get a sheet that goes on the mattress as well so that is what is in my baby's um, box I think it's such a good thing that the government are doing this because you know not many people people who are worse off obviously can't afford to buy you know baby items as such um, like beds and stuff so to be able to have all this in this box plus this can be a bed is a really really good idea and then there's also a Scottish like verse kind of note inside I'm not even going to bother to read it although I'm Scottish I probably wouldn't understand some of those words it's really Scottish um, but yeah and I'll open up the play mat to let you see what it looks like so it's humongous so this is the size of it you can't even see me anymore because the mat is so big but obviously it's got numbers letters colors and really handy for when your baby's kind of on the move and it can just kind of sit on the mat and play with some toys so yeah but that is my baby box and I thought I'd just show you what is in it but yeah I've got seven weeks to go until baby comes so we're super excited we're totally prepared now and we're just looking forward to meeting our little bundle of joy but thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye